Welcome back to Anikapedia with me, Anika. I want to proudly announce that we have reached 700 subscribers. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Today's video takes us all the way to Egypt to see the Suez Canal. Let's go. Firstly, the definition of the word canal is a human-made artificial waterway that allows boats and ships to pass from one body of water to another. The Suez Canal is indeed artificial and allows boats and ships to pass through it. This canal connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean, but to get there, you would have to cross the Red Sea on the way. The canal is of high importance as it is the shortest route from Europe to Asia and vice versa. Let's suppose that London, England was to make a trade with Mumbai, India for some items. For London to reach Mumbai without the Suez Canal, it would have to go all the way around the African continent to reach its destination. As you can see here, a ship would have to travel 19,800 kilometers, 12,300 miles, to reach India without the canal. However, with the canal, a ship would only need to travel 11,600 kilometers, which is 7,200 miles, officially making it much faster. As you can see, traveling on the Suez Canal saved so much of my time. As I mentioned before, the Suez Canal is located in Egypt and is precisely 120 miles away from Port Said a city that is north of the Suez Canal and on the Mediterranean Sea. To the south of the canal is the city of Suez. The construction of the Suez Canal has been considered ever since ancient times. Before, a series of smaller canals connecting to the Nile River, aka the longest river in the world. The reason why the Suez Canal was not built at the time is because there were many concerns regarding the water's altitude difference. Thus, most traveling was done by land, through horse-drawn vehicles, and eventually trains. Without the canal, trade was taking a back seat, except for Great Britain, as it traded especially with current-day India and Pakistan. Later on, a French diplomat named Ferdinand de la Saps convinced the Ottoman governor to construct a 100-mile canal along the Isthmus of Suez, which is a piece of land between the Mediterranean and Red Sea. Many engineers were up for the challenge of building this canal. The layout of the canal was drawn, and eventually the Suez Canal Company was created with its founder, Linant de Belafons. And it was given the authority to run the canal for 99 years after its construction was completed. Here comes the exciting part, the one and only construction. After lots of planning, the Suez Canal Company started the construction in 1859. This was hard work, as most of the digging job was done by hand and shovels, which was done by laborers who were forced to do the job. They worked long and hard, but later Europeans came with more advanced gadgets. Unfortunately, the construction of the canal was slowed by four whole years. Construction was slowed down due to a chloria epidemic between laborers and some arguments about construction. Many workers suffered while building the canal from a number of diseases such as malaria and yellow fever. In fact, out of the 1.5 million workers, 120,000 died because of construction. The Suez Canal is one of the world's deadliest construction projects. After 10 years of hard work and sweat, the canal was finally opened in 1869. Let's learn some fun facts about the Suez Canal with me. Let's go. French sculptor Frederick Auguste Bartholdi reached out to the Egyptian government 
and proposed the building of a statue. He would make the statue in honor of the construction of the Suez Canal. The statue would portray a woman dressed in traditional Egyptian clothing, holding a torch, and would stand at the end of the canal. This statue would also have a useful purpose. It would serve as a lighthouse for ships. Even though his idea was rejected, Bartholdi did not admit defeat, and his idea was taken on by New York to become the Statue of Liberty. Whoa! Did you know the Panama Canal was projected by the same developer, Ferdinand de la Saps? However, due to the number of unfortunate events that happened during the construction of the Suez Canal, he was not given the project. As a matter of fact, the canal is 19 miles, 29 kilometers, longer after its expansion. In March 2021, Ever Given, a huge container ship, became wedged across the Suez Canal in the midst of strong winds, as it blocked over 300 ships along with it. The Ever Given disrupted global trade, costing nearly 400 million in cargo every hour. The blockage lasted six whole days. Oh no! I had so much fun learning about the Suez Canal and its location, brief history, and fun facts. We learned a lot today. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!